Hello everyone. So I've decided to do this video much earlier in the day than usual, simply because I felt it was important to get an update out because Bitcoin and Seoul moved up considerably last night to our sort of target areas or zones where we were potentially looking for trades. So let's go into it, assess the data to work out if that changes the trade ideas or if it stops us with any trades or sets up any new ones. So obviously Bitcoin has, has done a really good move higher. Um, my personal feeling was the resistance would be in around 29,000 to 29,600 if we were to go higher. And I thought yesterday we were at sort of like a 50-50 point if we didn't close that positively. But obviously we did close positively and that's then helped us to surge much higher. Now, we've broken through this $29,000 level and the $29,600 level. Um, so this is showing real strength. And for now, the volume is relatively decent considering we're, you know, 11 hours or whatever into the into the day. Um, looking at this, I think there is the convergence of a quite major resistance in that with the horizontal resistance in and around here at 29,600, and you could even draw another line somewhere like this. So it can be anywhere in here, all the way up to like 30,300, 30,400. But we also have the underside of the yellow uptrend line, the main macro yellow uptrend line. So this underside and move into the underside area should act as resistance. So I do think we will reject here. We're very overbought on the RSI at 74 nearly. If we go down to smaller time frames, we'll be much more. Yep. 80. So th as you can see, guys, this is very overextended here um, to the upside for now. So I would expect this to come down. However, when we look at funding rates, Bitcoin is OK. Bitcoin has been reset. It was very negative yesterday. Those have been short squeezed and um, the funding rate is now much more uh, positive and Yesterday, it was very negative. So now we have a clear out of these shorts and, you know, probably a lot of those shorts were liquidated. But if we look on the liquidation heat map, we're asking ourselves, OK, there's not loads of shorts left. What's really driven this? There was a decent amount of spot volume. But it was mostly a short squeeze. If we look at the liquidation levels, most of the liquidations for leverage positions are in this $26,000 area. There's nothing really too much above us. So there's nothing really for the exchanges and the market makers to like stop hunt, essentially. So then we have to ask ourselves, how much further? What, what is the momentum? And we thought it could go, we thought price could go as high as it's gone. But we now have to ask ourselves, what momentum do we need for, or what catalyst do we need to continue this momentum to drive us into the 32k zone and, and north of that essentially and i am very skeptical here i don't think we see this go too much higher again it could do i think if you get to like 30,500, for instance that could bring in more volatility and you, i think you see people sort of like fear of missing out and then buying in there um but i would be cautious here now looking at soul so Bitcoin, I think, let's see how it plays out today. Sorry, let's look how Bitcoin plays today. And I may look to short Bitcoin in the early 30,000s. So I'm even starting to consider placing orders now. And the reason being is that the funding rate is normalized. Now, looking at Sol's funding rate, it's extremely negative. So this is going to be the reason why we're steering away from a Solana short. Now, me being relatively, you know, you know, thinking I know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. I started placing short orders in this red box last night, layering the whole way through. My average entry for the short is 2680. So I'm in a loss at the moment. But with this being said, I will look to, I've, I'll basically look to scale out of this position. So I, I want to basically come out of the short. I don't want to be in the short anymore. And the reason for that is, is the funding rate is really negative. So with this funding rate being really negative, I think the market makers will try to, drive a short squeeze and send price even higher so what i will look for is i'll look for this funding rate to be reset on a large move higher in seoul if we get it we you know you may just see the open interest come off over time but if we get if we get this large move higher you know driving that short squeeze i may look to short into that but right now i'm trying to get myself back out of this trade essentially at break even because i don't like the market mechanics behind it um 
So yeah, my average entry, I think is 2680. I could take a, a small loss now. I think I'll trim out a sort of like 2690, 2685, 2680, and I'll take a very small loss simply because I don't, I, this will come down at some point, but I just don't like the market mechanics behind it. So that's essentially why I, you know, I, perhaps I shouldn't have placed orders last night, but you know, you do get a, some wicks up in the evening and then some uh, selling in the Asian hours. So I thought it might be worth the play. But um, yeah, you win some, you lose some. This one, I I, I should lose, really. And I should lose. Um, this is one I essentially have, have gotten wrong. And I should really only come out with a very, very small loss. Um, it should be, you know, minimal. The fact you, you know, you almost don't even notice it. Um, but again, I need this to come back towards 2980, 2970. And if so, I, I will be getting out essentially at break even. Um, but I will start to trim my position around 2690. Um, and we, then Bitcoin, we're targeting for maybe a short in the early 30,000s, simply because the mechanics are slightly better. The reason we're not going for Solana um, is because the mechanics are very, there's a lot of short open interest there. Let me explain, it, actually. So we can see the funding rate is ridiculously negative down here. You can see historically how negative that is compared to usual. Now, if we look at the liquidations, the relatively sizable so far, but not really huge, not really massive. To look at the open interest, we can say, okay, the average of this period in here is probably somewhere on the horizontal line around there. So if we look on the far left, we can say it's 306 million, say 320 million, somewhere around there. Current open interest is 402 million. So it's a good 20, 30% higher, 25% higher from where it should be. So, but this could also go higher. So again, slightly in mixed position, you need some of this open interest to clear out and you need to see the funding rate reset. For that reason, I don't like being sold. So the orders I filled late last night into the 26 and $27 areas, I will try to scale out um, into 2680, somewhere around there and take a very small haircut loss. That's it for now. I will do the written update and we'll go from there. Thanks everyone.